All right, so the aquaponics update. We haven't had in a while. Got a dog who can't seem to leave my leg alone. Um, no, not that way. She's just always following me around, checking out what's up. Uh, fish are feeding. Uh, a lot of stuff's been going on with uh, with the this cement thing I've been doing, which is turning into quite the uh, back-breaking labor of love. Uh, I've got an outdoor fish tank now, so there's a bunch of algae eaters in here. There's uh, a couple other fish that who knows if they'll survive. I got to get the rocket stove going. That's today's mission. Been waiting a long time for this to dry. This is my upper pond. We'll put some big fish in here. Um, I'm gonna decorate it somehow. A bridge, a uh, fountain, who knows. But uh, that's just uh, doing its thing, waiting to dry and waiting to dry. It's almost ready to fill with water and try to get a pH level down to something the fish and plants can deal with. But uh, it's all gonna be one contiguous system. Here's the, uh, here's the upper pond. It's gonna come down this rock. It's gonna flow into this other pond. It's gonna have uh, duckweed and other plants that fish can eat, uh, water plants, um, place for them to go where fish won't eat them and I can just keep replenishing the fish food. Probably more duckweed down here. I might fill this up and use it for planting area. It's kind of shallow. Um, I'm gonna figure out what to do with that one. Probably more duckweed. I wanna have a lot, a lot of tilapia. And then this is all planting area here. So I'm going to fill the bottom with all these stones here, uh, let the water just pool up in there, and then the top I have a whole lot of this material left over. Um, the rocks and gravel, there's still worms living in there, it's still the stuff that mixed from the last one. So that's all doing its thing and staying alive and keeping it wet, keeping it going. Um, so from this planting area, We'll end up going. The dog loves to drink out of the pond, so I'm not going to stop her. I'm missing a stone. Well, I'm not missing it. It's over here. But to go, uh, to go in this thing, it's going to drip down into another pond. Basically, a dogfish bowl. Probably some more duckweed in there. Maybe put. Yeah, it's going to be shallow. But uh, yeah, and then it'll just run over this wall, which I'm going to embed some rocks in. It's not finished yet. That's the thing. I fucked up my bag. Oh my god. So, uh, yeah, can't be pouring cement, which is what I've been doing, obviously, for a while. And, uh, anyway, it's come together the way I love it. So, to recap, comes out of the big pond, into a little pond, another pond, another pond, flows down, all the plants growing, putting all that nitrogen, turning into H2O, so that water's going to drip back down. And then the, this is the pond where there's going to be lots and lots of fish. There's already fish in there, but, you know. So, once that water gets down into the pond, there's a pump in there, and uh, that pump goes up this little line into my magic watering stick, which is a uh, old pole that's got the end of that hose in it, and I can just water plants around any, anywhere around the pond. It's, it's the middle of the lower pond and can go pretty much everywhere this pond reaches. So, uh, for watering other stuff. And I've left these, they need to be trimmed and everything, but I love the fact that they've survived the way they have through all this trial and error. But, um, so the bottom pump pumps up into this bed that's gonna have more grow material, more plants, and uh, all that's gonna be peas and all these kinds of things that'll drape down over the side and cover up the, I don't know if it's ugliness of this tank, but it's kind of the eyesore of the place right now. Um, so once the water pumps from that bottom pump, it goes into this, goes down through where that planter is into the the other bin and that sits on top of a big rocket stove so the entire area that this thing's sitting on this acrylic tank is the exhaust for a rocket stove and that basically that entire earth mound there is a blanket that's gonna be fed by the heat generated from the rocket stove which is in the process of being assembled but these bricks uh, We'll have a fire that'll burn sideways, and we can get into the whole rocket stove thing. But this thing is basically a 12 foot by 12 foot by 1 foot uh, mass of air that will be heated and insulated by all this dirt and water. And that heat will feed this fountain. So, back to the water flow. <laughs> back from that bottom pond up into the planter up here. It's going to have plants growing over the side. All this soil here can be carrots and all that. 
Um, once the water gets into this big t big bin here, it comes out through a siphon, ends up going into this tank here. And that's all a big bacteria filter, and it's going to be buried a little bit more, have, have carrots growing around it. Um, but once it gets into there, it flows out the other side, and you can see the acrylic. Uh, on the other side, there's fish in there. It's sectioned off so that uh, they have water. And then once it comes out of there, you can see that the, the hose is leveled off going into that other pond right now. But instead of circulating between those two, it'll come into these pools and go into the whole cycle again. I know I move around a lot in these videos. It's the best I can do to explain what's going on, but uh, this is what I'm in love with these days and it's working for me. I'm growing strong and staying healthy. So have a good day, y'all.